Welcome to the Leader's Bookshelf, a weekly journey through today's top business and personal development books with your host, Frank Gustafson. If you read to lead, welcome home. If you want to read to lead, you're in the right place. Now grab your reading glasses and a cup of hot coffee, and let's get this show on the road. Hey, Frank here with the Leader's Bookshelf, and I just read another great book by the author John Gordon. It's called Training Camp. You may remember in a past episode, I did a book called The Energy Bus, and then recently I did another one called uh, One Word, the word that will change your life forever. John Gordon was a co-author in that book. I just, you know, I don't know, I'm finding myself um, really getting in a in a in an area where I dig a few authors and I start reading their books and John Gordon is one of those I've got there's he's got a couple other books that out there that I desperately want to read too I really I enjoyed I, I first of all I enjoy the way John writes and he writes his stuff his wisdom comes to you in the form of a story and the story teaches a life lesson and this this book training camp is the same thing and it's a it's it's called uh, training camp a fable about excellence and uh, the top of the book says uh, what the best do better than everyone else and this book kind of goes through the journey of a football player who is at training camp and does that mean that does that mean that if you're not into sports or if you're not into football that you can't enjoy this book and you can't reap the wisdom that John puts out here? No, absolutely not. I certainly believe that you can. Um, it's a, again, it, you know, it's a, it's a relatively short book, less than 150 pages. It's an, it's a quick, easy read and it is so motivational and it is so, it really, it really talks about what the best do to achieve excellence in their lives. And one of the things that he goes through in here is the 11 traits of the best of the best. And these are the traits that are revealed to this, to this young guy, this football player, throughout the whole training camp experience and then ending up in a culmination as to really whether he makes the team or not. And I'm not going to spoil the surprise. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil, spoil the surprise on that. But um, some of the traits that I really enjoyed here, there's 11 of them, and I'm not going to go through all of them. But number one is the best know what they really want. And unless you know what you really want, how do you know where, how do you know how to get it? How do you know where to go? How do you know what to do in life unless you know what you really want out of life? And I think that that is kind of the, the starting point. You have to really decide what you want. And the number two is the best want it more. And I think that We've all seen that in our lives. The best of the best of the best in any given field, whether it's in sports, whether it's in music, whether it's in any kind of profession, they just seem to want it more, and they put that extra effort in there. Um, the best are always striving to get better. It is a matter of, I know that um, there's the, you know, you hear about the 10,000 rule, the 10,000 hour rule to for excellence, and whether that's whether that is, I've I've heard people say it's true. I've heard people say it's been debunked. Whatever doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is that the best are always striving to get better. No matter what it is that they do, they're always striving to improve and they're seeking improvement on a daily basis. That's what, that's what I do here for the Leader's Bookshelf. I am constantly reading books. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly taking that input to try to make myself better. So that in my coaching profession, I can help other people get better and help other people, you know, achieve whatever it is that they want to, whether whatever it is that they want to achieve. So one of the traits number four is that the best do ordinary things better than everybody else, and that's the cool thing. I think that that people think that to succeed in life and to achieve something great in life, you that you've got to have some superpower. You've got to have you've got to be exceptional at you know these great and mag uh, magnanimous things. The fact of the matter is that the best of the best do the little things, the ordinary things, better than anybody else. And it has a lot to do with just just doing them, just freaking doing them, and uh, and not and not 
not focusing on all of these great and 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 uh, and huge things, but take care of the ordinary task and do them better than anybody else. And success will come. It's unbelievable. The best of the best are mentally stronger. That means that you have to be able to accept defeat. That means that you have to be able to, uh, you know, understand that when you stick your head above the crowd, you're going to catch some tomatoes. And that's all there is to it. You know, uh, critics are going to come. If you're not doing anything great in life, nobody is going to criticize you because you're, you're, you're in the middle of the road. You're kind of, uh, I don't know, one of the terms that I like is cream of the crap. I'm not calling you cream of the crap, all right? <laughs> don't get all upset. But you know what? If you, if, if you don't like what I say and you want to criticize me, that's okay. Because I don't say anything that I don't truly believe. So I know that for me to be the best of the best at what I do, that I'm going to have to put my head above the crowd. I'm going to have to put myself out there. I'm going to have to put, um, I'm going to have to kind of go that extra step. And it, and it sets you up for some criticism and that's okay. But the best of the best are mentally stronger. You can just take that stuff and you just, and you understand that that's just part of the course. The best overcome fear. False evidence appearing real. Fear. I'm going to a Zig Ziglar class here in, in the next week, and I know that 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 Zig talked a lot about you know overcoming fear and uh, and the fact that fear holds most people back. You can't let fear if you're going if you want to be the best of the best. You can't let fear hold you back. And then I think the um, I'm just going to hit you with two more. Number ten, which is the best, leave a legacy. And I think that I love what John Maxwell talks about. Without a without success, without a successor, there is no success. If you think you're doing great, then look at the people behind you and see how they're doing. Look at the people that you're nurturing and you're bringing along and whatever it is that you do. And if there's some success following you, if there's some success back there, or if there's success in the last job that you left to take the one that you're in now, if there's success there, then you've been a successful leader. Because you've you've left a successor, you've set somebody else up for success. But the best of the best always leave a legacy. And then the last one is the best of the best make everyone around them better. And I think that that is so critical. Our 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 if you're a leader or whether you're a leader or whether you're not a leader, if you want to, if you're a leader or you or a, or a leader want to be. You've got to always lift people up and make people around you better. People have to people have to get better at whatever it is that they're doing, or why do they want to be around? So a lot of these a lot of these traits are talked about here in John's book, John Gordon, the training camp. I love the book. I think you ought to read the book. If you want to read the book, read it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know. <laughs> I'm a big boy. You know what? What did I say? The best of the best are mentally stronger. I'm mentally strong enough. If you don't like one of the books that I read, then, you know, if you want to say something, then say something. I'm, I'm here for that. But uh, if you like the book, say something there as well. I think it's a great book. I highly encourage you to read it. So uh, go out there and grab yourself a copy of Training Camp by John Gordon. And hey, keep turning those pages and I'll see you on the next episode. Hey, thanks again for stopping by the Leader's Bookshelf. I would love to get your feedback on this show. If there's anything that you'd like to say with regard to a specific episode of the show in general, or if you have book recommendations, I'm always open to those. Just stop by theleadersbookshelf.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.